can't believe how much the weather has changed this week. It's only three short weeks ago that I was filming the video for the summer version of the Rare Bed anti-pollution face mask at the Humber Bridge and the weather was glorious. Ideal for the lightweight version that I tested at the time. By and large, bike clothing manufacturers don't seem to care too much for the open face helmet wearer. And these sort of products are a bit thin on the ground. Now, at the same time that Rarebed sent me through the classic Czech summer face mask, they also sent me through their herringbone tweed winter face mask. Now these are a high-end item and just like the classic Czech version, it comes in high-end packaging. Packaging that I think does represent the quality of the product that's contained within it. Now although the basic shape and design of this winter face mask is more or less the same as the summer face mask, the materials are quite different. Tweed is a fabric that's been prized for its outdoor weather repelling capabilities since Victorian times. And the black and grey herringbone pattern on this particular product is made from 100% wool British tweed. Now at the back of this face mask there are two high quality brass eyelets and fastened through these is a sturdy elasticated head strap. Now Rare Bird London do give very comprehensive and accurate instructions on how to select the perfect size mask for you. But in order to achieve that perfect custom fit this strap is also adjustable. Each end of the strap having two position adjustments via again high quality brass press studs. The interior of the mask is a velvety soft soft shell material and the mouth and nose area is perforated to allow easy breathing on what is substantially thicker material than you see on the summer masks. Of course sandwiched between the tweed and that soft shell material there is an anti-pollution filter designed to protect the lungs of the airborne rider on that daily commute. The neckband is multi-adjustable via a velcro fastener, all double stitched for long life. And the mask itself, providing you choose the right size, is a snug and precise fit. The head strap is designed to hook over the top of the head and the nose piece has some sort of formable wire insert which allows you to shape the top hem of the mask to fit the profile of your nose and your face perfectly. This, along with the other adjustment features I've already mentioned, gives a lovely snug custom fit, with the neckband coming well down below the neck of your average fastened up bike jacket to keep out drafts in the worst of the weather. Now I did like the summer version of this mask but I like the winter version even better. The materials used give a much higher feel of quality and comfort. The lining feels soft and soothing against your skin with the tweed keeping out the chill of the wind and the dampness of the air. It's a product of the design but if I am to make one criticism and it is a small criticism is that it does leave a slight gap between the neck band and the back of your helmet leaving just a little skin exposed. It's not a big deal because this isn't an area where you generally feel the cold anyway and the uber stylish face mask itself essentially dialing out that frozen face feeling more than makes up for it. It's so refreshing these days to see designers producing bike wear that doesn't just perform a function it also looks really good and this is a prime example. I know a few people complained about the price tag of these masks and it's up to the individual to decide whether it is worth it to them. I personally think it is. Besides which Christmas is quite 
quite literally breathing down our necks at the moment. And if I didn't already have one, I think I would be tempted to put one of these on my Christmas list. The good news is though that at the moment, Rare Bed London are having a pre-Christmas Black Friday style sale. And I will leave a link to their winter masks in the video description down below. And once again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've found it useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I will of course be back on Friday. So until then, wrap up warm, ride safely, and I'll see you soon.